Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm using the Cold Tarot for our weekly reading from Monday the 19th of December through to Sunday the 25th of December. So I'm setting the intention for a reading for the highest and greatest good for the collective or anyone who views this video. So I'm asking now for a card for Monday and we have the devil. For Tuesday, the Six of Wands. For Wednesday, the Magician. Thursday, Death. Friday, the Eight of Wands. Saturday, the Four of Wands, and Sunday, the Page of Cups. So Monday, we have the Devil, who keeps, this card keeps coming out in our readings. And we're coming to the end of this karmic year. And the energies are immensely challenging. Disowned parts of ourselves are coming up to the surface, whether it be a lack of self-worth, abandonment, whatever it may be, will be presenting itself to us during this time. Presenting itself to us to be acknowledged for us to accept these emotions that come up within us start to project in our outside world so people around us may treat us in a way that hurts us but that pain within us is disown parts of ourselves that we're not loving because if they weren't there it doesn't matter it wouldn't matter what anybody else says or did it just would not trigger anything so the universe is bringing up these emotions these painful emotions and healers and sensitives will be feeling them really potently because we are now in a place of acknowledging these emotions, not suppressing them, allowing them to come to the surface because they are old immense wisdom. And when we allow them to come to the surface and not react in the same old patterns, we start to change within. So Monday is a card of really acknowledging these emotions that may be coming to the surface. They may have been coming up and building during the weeks, during the days. Asking us not to go into fear. Because this is what's being brought to the surface. Anything that's no longer serving us. Anything that is not a vibrational match to this energy that is now flowing to earth. The energy that is coming to earth for the solstice is one of personal miracles. So anything that is causing us to go into doubt, to not have faith in ourselves, is coming to the surface. It may be mirroring back from the people around us or situations around us. But ultimately, we are being asked to go within. 
and find those disowned parts of ourselves that we're not loving and love them and accept them and take the wisdom from them. And as we do that, we become whole and we heal. And this is a time of healing Monday, Tuesday, a time of healing coming to the solstice portal. Tuesday we have the Six of Wands and this is celebration, a card of victory that we have really gone in and connected with our own Holy Grail. This is King Arthur coming back into Avalon with the Holy Grail signifying that the hard work that we've done, the challenges that we have faced, we're coming back victoriously, we're coming back whole. So Tuesday, a beautiful day of celebration. So powerful energy shift on Tuesday. Wednesday for the solstice, we have the magician, this magical card of Merlin, Archangel, Raziel, Archangel Ariel, all these mystical archangels and angels and ascended masters around us, helping us to come into that alignment as we move into the alignment with the galactic centre as the sun and the moon come into alignment for the new moon on the 23rd. So everything coming in now to alignment, asking us to really go deep within, into that place of stillness, even though the energy of this month is one of, to do the complete opposite, we're being asked to go within, cultivate within, making sure that we are in that place of creating personal miracles for ourselves because this is what this energy is all around. So moving now from the intensity of Monday to the solstice on Wednesday. And you can see there the sword, the cup, the flame, the pentacle, all in alignment, the aces of each one, the new beginnings, the gift from God, the gift from the divine, connecting to that ancient wisdom that, that this season, this solstice awakens within us. We all have this ancient wisdom within us that the solstice awakens to spend time in that enrichment of this time, of this season, of the moving, of the wheel of the season. Thursday, we have the death card. So the old now falling away. As Jupiter moves into Aries. So Aries is the beginning of the zodiac sign, it's the first zodiac sign. Last month we had the new moon in one degree of Sagittarius and Friday the new moon is in one degree in Capricorn and for the next three new moons, the new moons will be in one degree of each sign. Jupiter on this day moving into Aries is also new beginnings, expansion. So everything's gearing us up for new beginnings, beautiful new beginnings. And we can feel that now as we're dropping the old, opening up for the new, 
an expansion to flow in from this solstice. We're coming to the end of this karmic year and we have this empty space now to bring in the new, the new beginnings. So the death of the old, the old ways, they're of no longer serving us, they have caused us pain, that have caused us challenges. We're no longer carrying that energy any longer. So it's the death of the old and I'm just feeling the rise of the phoenix during this solstice of the old falling away as ash and we are then ascending in our bodies of light we move up in our bodies of light so a death coming through this ascension coming through this solstice on our ascension letting go of the layers upon layers of old conditioning stepping into the newness now so there's a, a death and a rebirth during this week then Friday we have the eight of ones which starts things moving really quickly energy starts to to shift good things start to come in where we have had time of weight and obstacles things start to shift now and our path becomes clear so a card of movement on friday so news coming in if we've been waiting for anything any news to come in it will come in on friday where there's been delays now things shifting where there have been obstacles the path is clear so powerful week of transformation of clearing the old the distortions the illusions shifting them all now so that we see it clearly and in this card there is the sunflowers which always signify happiness abundance so maybe where there's been some hold up in finances things start to flow start to flow in now saturday we have the four of wands and this is the gateway as we're moving through this portal this solstice portal this week the new moon on friday bringing in those new beginnings the new moon in capricorn and we've moved into the sun in Capricorn also so very earthy earthy energy the Capricorn sign is the goat the mountain goat always making sure that everything is firmly placed before they start to move and we have set those firm foundations have we, as we've let go of the old and held on to what empowers us, held on to what uplifts us. So we are now anchoring this beautiful light. And with the solstice, it's an infusion of divine love that's coming in through our heart centers. And we've been preparing for this time during the months leading up where we are focused on our heart center where we have been guided to soften our hearts and open our hearts to actually allow our hearts to navigate us and things starting to shift so this new moon is a really pa powerful one of grounding this light grounding our manifestations into this reality so Saturday is the doorway, you can see there, the double doorway. And this week from the, the 19th on Monday, which adds up to the 10th, the new beginnings. 
So the end of the old, the beginning of the new. Then we have the 20th, which is victory. So the 20th on Tuesday, it's the twos, 20th of the 12th, 2022. So we have all those twos, which add up to 11, which is the gateway, a gateway of the divine architect, everything that we've been building, everything that we have been manifesting, those seeds that we are germinating within us, within our consciousness. The 21st is the number three. So it's the day of the Empress of prosperity, of everything that is beautiful in life. The Divine Feminine, the miraculous coming in. We have the Magician here magical so all through this week we have numerological activations as well as the astrology as well as the star activations that are going on with Orion and Sirius and the Pleiades constant activations on so many different levels on cosmic le levels we're being assisted through this time to guide us through this cosmic gateway of our ascension which is one of celebration this card brings in happiness brings in good news brings in births marriages everything that's beautiful in life this is one of my most favorite cards in the tarot so as we're moving through this week with the the numerological activations with the solstice, with the new moon, powerful, powerful energy shifts moving within us and stepping into this doorway now of the new, of the wonderful, of prosperity, of joy. And then Sunday, we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is romance. It's these new guides that are coming around us, guiding us, coming into that vibrational match, that connecting on the frequency listening to those new messages that are coming through that are so profound so spiritual lots of spiritual activation this week ancient wisdom being activated within us from the solstice so so a powerful week of awakening absolute awakening of love, of romance, and you can see there that cup is flowing over. We have the crab there, that sign of cancer, which is family and love, and the starfish, which is a, a really lucky symbol, and the five senses, keeping them all in alignment so that we can connect to our higher self, listen to our higher guidance. And there in the cup is a fish, which signifies prosperity and signifies wisdom. So this is the beginning of something new and wonderful. Spiritual activations, our spiritual gifts come in and awakening now. We're, we're awakening to who we truly are. So what a beautiful week to enjoy and to be gentle with ourselves on Monday and allow things to come to the surface, any fears, any, any, just know that the universe is lifting these 
to show us that we can focus on those or we can focus on the light. We can focus on our own personal miracles and to come into alignment and focus on the truth, which is we are manifesting our reality with every thought with every feeling, with every word, with every action. It, it's our responsibility and taking ownership of that now and loving those disowned parts of us that we haven't loved for so long. Taking our gaze from the outside world in and nurturing ourselves. This energy that is coming from the cosmos is is nurturing is loving to sit and to absorb and allow these activations to occur within us so have a beautiful beautiful holy week this beautiful week of sacred energy of ancient wisdom of ancient activations going on within us the numerological activations, it, everything is coming in. And as we sit and absorb, everything will flow in, imperfect and divine elegance and grace. So have a beautiful, beautiful week. And thank you so much for listening. Thank you. God bless. Thank you.